Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, as you know, my Patreon is up, and uh, I invite you to go to it. Uh, and uh, I wanted to make a video about, uh, well, there's multiple topics, but this one has specifically to do with uh, guns. And the fact that uh, there is so much ignorance, uh, especially on the left and among even the Democrats. And I'll even give you examples of what Democrats have actually said. Uh, people like Joe Biden and senators. <clears throat> okay. Title for this is Guns for Idiots. Um, I guess I should start off with automatic versus semi-automatic. Pretty much every single gun that you will ever buy, in fact, every gun you will buy, unless it is a gun from the Old West or a replica of a gun from the time of, you know, Billy the Kid, uh, then it's a semi-automatic. Semi-automatic means you pull the trigger once and one bullet comes out and it automatically rechambers another round so that the next time you pull the trigger, one bullet comes out. That's semi-automatic. Automatic is hold the trigger and bullets keep coming out until you release the trigger. Now, Democrats have actually said, talking about senators and congressmen, when asked what is a semi-automatic, they've described it as um, you pull the trigger and a few bullets come out. No, that would be automatic. And automatic only works for, you know, really you know, suppressing fire if you're in, you know, heavy combat situation with a unit, basically. You know, if you're not part of the Army or the IRA or the Sandinistas, automatic is useless. Okay, um, for law-abiding um, gun owners, whether concealed carry or open carry, especially concealed carry, uh, there are no warning shots. Warning shots are illegal. When Crack talked about a woman getting, uh, you know, eight years for firing a warning shot at her husband, um, yeah, that's attempted murder. If a threat is coming after, at you, right, stepping to you to do bodily harm, this has nothing to do with the castle doctrine or stand your ground. Uh, once you pull your gun, if the suspect doesn't immediately drop to the ground with his hands out or run away with his hands up in the air, um, you immediately begin firing. Uh, usually three shots, center mass. You don't shoot in the leg or in the arm. Why? Because dumb-dumb uh, -dum bullets aren't sold to civilians, and I'll get to why police use them. And it's also the same reason why warning shots are illegal, because it can ricochet and hit somebody else. Uh, dimension, a shot to the upper leg is deadly most of the time. Just like movies portray, oh, a shot to the gut, that's not lethal, but it's really painful. No, that's, that's lethal. It just takes a long time to die. Um, it's horribly painful. And uh, because you know where all your organs and uh, intestines are and a lot of blood vessels, that's in your gut right and uh to try to stitch all that up usually with a gunshot if it's in you know the shoulder or the arm 
there's no digging the bullet out. They just try to patch you up. But in the gut, it just, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it rips through, can rip through liver, pancreas, uh, multiple um, intestines, uh, and you're just bleeding out. Uh, and they'd have to go in and, yeah, very, uh, very high mortality. Um, <clears throat> police have an obligation to help you. Incorrect. Cracked even did a thing on this. Shockingly enough, they were honest. Where there was a knife-wielding man who was murdering people in a subway car, and the cops waited until the man killed everybody until they... He entered until the cops entered. Cops have zero obligation. You can look at this on the law. They have no obligation to help you. You can go on a website for 911 calls and hear people who are calling 911 and uh, the operator said, well, the cops will be there in 15 minutes or 10 minutes and the woman was already raped and murdered. Where the people were already slaughtered and the suspect is, had escaped. Uh, remember, these people are not buying guns from gun shops, they don't have void cards. Uh, so they use uh, basically what, what are called drop guns, you know, untraceable, illegal. Well, they're traceable, but just not back to the people who committed the crime. Once you pull your gun, you fire unless the threat is r runs away or immediately surrenders at a safe distance. I already went over that. Um, civilian backstop versus why cops use hollow points. When you uh, fire at your aggressor, um, you have to take count the backstop because the bullets that you're going to be using uh, are not dumb dumb bullets. They don't flatten out. They're not hollow points, right? Cops use these because they enter the body, they flatten out, and they don't go through, right? Um, whereas civilian bullets, uh, they can go through one person and keep on going and hit another person. So you always have to watch what's called your backstop. Okay, Democrats, uh, Joe Biden actually said, uh, all you need is a shotgun, you go out in the front porch and fire off, you know, if you hear something in the night, fire off uh, two rounds in the, in the night, and uh, I guarantee you that the, the, the prowler will run away. Well, firing blindly into the night, uh, yeah, that's a felony. Felony discharge of a weapon. Um, because you're just, I mean, you could, you could kill innocent people. Um, not to mention, you know, lost child or something like that. Uh, that is the most stupid thing that, you know, I've ever heard. Democrats and this may be unbelievable, but you'll, this, this is true. Democrats have argued that private gun ownership gives uh, non-criminals, homeowners, the unfair advantage against home invaders, rapists, and violent murderous thugs. So... A young mother home at night with an infant or a toddler and a group of young men are trying to break in to murder her, whether for, you know, fun or for, you know, race reasons because they think that they're being oppressed or they want to rob. And actually, home invaders are the first people to kill you, you know, uh, what is it, uh, Henry Hawk or Night Hawk or whatever it was called, Night Hawks, that, that BS, the idea that 
nice cat burglar. Um, yeah, so that uh, that 95 pound soaking wet, um, uh, holding a brick woman um, and her young children, she pulls a gun. Uh, that's an unfair advantage to the, you know, knife wielding and possibly gun wielding uh, home invaders. Because as soon as they come through the door, she's going to start dumping lead into them. Right? And even uh, brandishing a gun, right? And this should only be done when imminent, uh, when violence is imminent. Somebody coming at you, really, you know, like, that's when you could pull your gun and say, stop, stop, stop. And if they don't immediately stop, you put bullets into them. Uh, so Democrats have argued that. They also consistently don't know what semi-automatic means. Um, I went over Joe Biden, you know, uh, blindly firing into, you know, the night. Uh, as well as why don't you call the cops, you know, even the liberal crack addressed this. And uh, what else? There's a, another uh, issue that I wanted to address. Um, slipped my mind. But yeah, that's uh, guns for idiots. How many guns do I own? That will never, ever be made public. Ever. What type of guns do I own? Never to me be made public. Uh, I like the reliability of the Glock, um, which is why most handguns are just knockoffs of Glocks now. Um, all right, peace to you. May God save Serbia, Syria, and Ireland.